Hi guys, it's me, Kelly Gassi, and today I have my December Morphe Me unboxing. So guys, today I'm here with my December Morphe Me unboxing for 2017, but before we get started, guys, I'm so excited. We hit 10,000 subscribers, woo! I seriously cannot even believe that I got here. When I started doing a YouTube channel a few years back, I had no idea that I would make it to 10,000 subscribers. And you guys, I really do appreciate all the time that you guys have put in watching my videos and commenting and chatting with me in the comments. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I love and appreciate you so, 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 so much. Just so you guys know, I did put in an order for some giveaway items. A lot of giveaway items, actually. A whole bunch of giveaway items. And I will be doing a giveaway with two grand prize winners who are both going to win a ton of really, really fun makeup. And I'll also be doing some secondary winners as well. So I'll have a video on that coming very, very soon. And if you guys are new here and you haven't yet seen me before, then make sure you go down and click that red subscribe button down below because we have a lot of fun over here on my channel. We unbox a lot of things, we do makeup tutorials, reviews, and a ton of other fun stuff like that. So if that sounds like a good time to you, make sure you're subscribed. And if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button so I know to keep doing videos just like this one. Without further ado, let's jump right into my Morphe Me unboxing for December of 2017. So guys, I actually don't know what's in this one. I successfully avoided all of the emails and all of the online things that were like, meh, meh, December brushes, meh, completely blocked those out. So hopefully we have here a completely surprising bag for me that I have no idea what it is. I don't know. I'm, I'm talking is hard, guys. Talking is very hard, but we're gonna jump right into this thing because I think it's fun. <laughs> guys. They're red, pinkish. They're pretty. Whatever they are, they're pretty. I hate noisy packaging. They're in noisy packaging in noisy packaging. The first one is a Morphe RG8 and it feels really nice and soft. It definitely doesn't feel as high quality as the brushes from last month. These were the brushes from last month and they are the I think they're like the professional ones, but those are really soft. I think they're natural hair bristles. These feel more like synthetic hair bristles. They still feel really nice and tapered. They're just not quite the same as the other ones. These are not on Morphe's website, which means that they are limited edition brushes, I believe just for this bag. I don't love it when they do this just because I like to be able to say, hey, here's where you can get the brush, even if you don't wanna get the subscription. But I'll kind of estimate how much I think these brushes are worth. This brush, this is a really nice fluffy brush. It's pretty tapered this way. If you see it kind of, it's thin and it's tapered up at the top. I feel like this would be a really great blush brush. It's just about the right size just to kind of pat and blend out some blush on your cheeks. So I definitely like this and I feel like this is a brush that would go for probably around the $15 range on the Morphe website. So this is the next brush I have right here. This is called the Morphe RG6 and it kind of seems like a little flat buffing brush. For example, this is really dirty, but this is my Sigma Flat Kabooby, Flat, flat Kabooby, what? <laughs> I can't talk, you guys. This is my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush, and it's kind of meant for applying foundation. It's a buffing brush that helps you buff out your foundation, and this feels pretty similar, except it's a lot smaller. So I wonder if this would be really good for buffing out like cream contour or something like that. I mean, you could definitely use it for foundation. Maybe that might fit well underneath the eyes for concealer, but it definitely has that flat kabuki type of feeling to it that I feel would be really great for spreading out and buffing out liquid product. So I'm definitely gonna have to try that out and see what I think about that. I think this brush would probably go for the $10 range as far as 
if you were to buy something similar on the Morphe website. So, so far I would say this box has probably paid for itself. So theoretically anything else we get in here is kind of a little bit bonus. The next brush I got was a Morphe RG18 and this is just a small detailed blending brush, blending eye brush. It's not like a big fluffy brush that you would use for a transition shade. It's more of a detailed brush. The bristles are a lot shorter and I feel like you could really use this just to kind of blend out the detail part of your eyes because with a bigger fluffy brush it's kind of going to spread it around real fast. So when you want to do some detailed blending, something like this is going to be really, really good. And I think this would be somewhere in the $5 to $7 range on Morphe's website. And the last brush I'm seeing here is a Morphe RG24. And this is a fluffy blending brush for your eyes. I love the texture of this. It feels really soft and smooth. But this is a brush that's going to be really good for blending out that transition shade and really helping to bring color gradually and gently up towards your brow bone. And I would say this is in this similar $5 to $7 range on Morphe's website. And guys, just for reference, the packaging I think is really, really cute. The red brushes, they're metal. There's kind of like a metal brush trend going around lately. Kylie recently released metal brushes and then like BH Cosmetics and other brands were like, hey, we have affordable metal brushes too. I think Morphe's trying to jump on that train a little bit with having some limited edition brushes that are just really, really pretty. So I think the actual values of these brushes may be pushed up a little bit by this packaging. These ones might end up being more in the $18 to $20 range depending on how high end they think the packaging is. And these ones might be more in the $15 range. That would be similar to brushes like Sigma or something like that. But again, I don't believe that these brushes are as nice and wonderful as the Morphe brushes I got last month. But to be fair, I did get only three of these and I got four of these. So I'm really, really happy with this month. I feel like I definitely got over the cost of the box, probably closer to double the cost of the box. I think Morphe Me is a great value and I'm gonna continue to get it. Now that being said, I am going to address the stuff that has been going around about Live Glam and it not being safe and people getting their credit cards stolen. I haven't looked into it a whole lot and I don't know 100% what is going on with that. So if, if you wanna do a little bit more research, there is more information on the internet about that. But I feel fairly comfortable in the fact that I am using a credit card on their website. If it was a debit card, I would be a little bit more concerned, but since I have a good credit card company, that everything's insured, so if I do notice something on my credit card balance, I can definitely have them take care of that. And it is always, always, always a good idea when you buy things online with your credit card or you use your credit card when you're paying for gas or something like that, it is always a good idea to check your statements every month and go through everything that is charged on your card and make sure that it was you. And I know that a lot of people don't do that these days, but I would encourage everybody who spends money on a credit card online that you go through your statements. This is in no way professional financial advice or anything like that. Just from my personal experience, I think it's a really great idea to make sure you're going through all your credit card statements. That's it for my Morphe Me unboxing for December 2017. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button so you know to keep doing videos just like this one. That's pretty much it. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!